What in your dreams? Hey, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. I'm excited to say today we are starting I Alan Partridge season one, episode one. So excited to jump into this. I do say we have to watch this on daily motion. So there probably will be ads in between the video because on the site I usually use, I couldn't find it. So, uh, but here we are. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my God, Alan! That was Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell, uh, a song in which Joni complains that they paved paradise to put up a parking lot. Um, a measure which actually would have alleviated traffic congestion on the outskirts of Paradise. Uh, something which Joni singularly fails to point out, perhaps because it doesn't quite fit in with her blinkered view of the world. Uh, nevertheless, nice song. It's 4.35am, you're listening to... <laughs> uh -huh. And now it's time for Alan's Facts of the Day. Crab sticks do not actually contain any crab, and from 1993, manufacturers have been legally obliged to label them crab flavored sticks. Another one of those, <laughs> same time tomorrow. <laughs> Radio Norwich, crab, crab the best music. Pray silence, please, for the Electric Light Orchestra. <laughs> String back just gives you a bit of extra purchase. Time now to hand over to my breakfast host, Mr. David Clifton. Good morning to you, sir. And good morning to you, Mr. Alan Partridge, sir. And uh, I heard your phone in, and uh, I like your chat with the guy from Swaffham. Uh, he, he was a wacky fella. Yeah, yeah, he was. I, I actually think he was a bit simple. And I heard you playing with the criminals again there, Alan. Uh, <laughs> the vandals got to your car again. Afraid so. Third time. Scum. Subhuman scum. <laughs> OK, okay uh, it's Alan. 7 a.m. Wakey, wakey, it's the breakfast show. Here's Yazoo. <laughs> Lynn, message from Alan. Something to pitch to Tony Hayes at BBC Lunch Friday. Idea for film extravaganza. Plot thus. Malcolm McDowell is trapped in the future. He's being pursued by a cyberpunk from the past, uh, played by Rutger Hauer. Um, this is a terrible idea. No one will watch that. I've not thought of that. I'll call you back. She's a killer queen gun. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Good morning, Alan. How are you today? Classic queen. I'm oh, very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Like, the, uh, like those earrings, are they gold? Yes, they're old gold. Yeah. Well, that's not really gold, is it? But, uh, <laughs> like, uh, like little tears, little wax tears dripping from your ears because they're sad. <laughs> Don't cry ears, you're on the side of a lovely head. <laughs> oh. uh, good show this morning. I, I, Alter, you hear it? I see you trying to spit some game, Ali. I see you. Don't cry ears, you're on the side of a lovely head. Okay, I, I see what you little flirting going on. Any messages? Just the one from Bill Oddie. Oh, did he have a message? No. No, he never does. <laughs> um, right, well, I'm afraid, Susan, I've got some very bad news. Oh? I'm leaving you, you cow! It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a joke there. Backfire. <laughs> um, I'm actually saying I'm, I'm going to be checking out at the end of the week. Are you going back to your mm. wife? No, no, God, Carol. Oh, God, no. no, no she's uh, living with uh, the fitness instructor. Mm. He, uh, he provides all her... Uh, Sexual uh, intercourse. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, dry skin and flaking again. Apologies. I'm sorry about the cow earlier. You're not a cow. And if you were, you'd be a lovely jersey, right for milking. <laughs> okay. Talking about cows. Do you like milk? Actually, it's, um, it's, kind of, it's a rather delicate matter. Oh, excuse me. Sophie, could you deal with this? Uh, Sophie. Mr. Partridge. As you know, at the end of the week, I'm, I'm meeting Tony Hayes at the BBC, and he, he is Mr. Numero One. And uh, the, the problem is, I've, I've got some rude daubings on the side of my car. Mm. Can you still drive the car? Well, yeah, yeah, I'll, I mean, that's... Do you know what it says on the side of my car? Tosser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's,
Okay, no, it, it um, actually says uh, cock, piss, partridge. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right? Mr. Partridge um, has, got, has got some rude graffiti. <laughs> graffiti? <clears throat> what, in the hotel? No, no, God, there's, there's never any graffiti in the hotel. Although, in the gents a couple of weeks ago, I did see someone had drawn a, a lady's part. <laughs> it's quite detailed. But the guy obviously had talent. It's on the side of my car, it says cock, piss, partridge. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, uh, which is illegal. Is she mean? Yes, she is. <laughs> I'm basically driving around in an obscene publication. Well, I've got to get my hands on the bastard. Or bitch, might be a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Give <laughs> <laughs> it up for a fag. Don't worry about your car, Alan. I'll get Michael to sort it out for okay. you. Okay. Oh, you're talking to the devil. Uh, Mona Miss Barnett? Yeah, I'm just to Michael. Michael, I was just saying to uh, Susan, a uh, bit of a job for you. Uh, unfortunately, some vandals have sworn all over my car again. Vandals, eh, Mr. Parrish, you know? Makes the one of us all about. Boot? Aye, you know, vandals, you know. What, what is it all about? Oh, about? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I yeah, uh, hey. understand the, uh, the Geordie. I was like, he's hard to understand. Yeah, he, he's definitely going to be hard to understand when he speaks. Uh, I'm going to have to listen very intently. People. You know, what I reckon is that if I had the sense of proper jobs, I wouldn't be up to all this, you know, larking every night. What? <laughs> what I'm saying is that, like, if I had the sense of proper jobs, you know, for a gun till, then they wouldn't do it. You know, a lot of them from broken homes. Oh, sorry, that was just a noise. That <laughs> <laughs> was uh, broken homes. A, a broken home is not an excuse for evil. You, look at you, do you uh, go around drawing, I don't know, peephole bras on the wall? I, but... It was different for me, like, because, you know, I, I was in the army when I was 17. Well, there you go. Mm. They taught you a trade. Minor repairs. Hi. That and killing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I see some terrible things, mind. What, like, like three men burning in a tank, going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wouldn't want to know this, but... I'll be honest, I'm pretty curious. <laughs> I, I, but I'd basically like to understand man's inhumanity to man. And, and mm. then make a programme about it. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, uh, regarding the uh, graffiti, if you could uh, kill that. <laughs> I'll see you read me, uh, me your uh, dishy on a dishy. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do just like a quick fix on it for no. I'll get gone again. Good night. <laughs> Idea for a program, uh, Lady Shapes with Alan Partridge. I look at the changing shape of ladies through the ages, from fat, chubby ladies of the Renaissance to uh, hard faced Cromwellian sour pusses, right up to 20th century well toned women like Sharon Davis and uh, Jet from Gladiators. <laughs> Jets from Gladiators to host a Millennium Barn Dance at Yeovil Aerodrome. <laughs> Properly pleased, it must not, repeat not, turn into an all-night rave. <laughs> Would you like me to lap dance for you? Smash it to pieces just like that. It's weird. On May 26th, be a part of her world. Uh, just in case uh, it starts to come right there. <laughs> you need to try meditation. No offense, but meditation. Who's gonna go watch these movies though? Y'all let me know. Oh, um, white man can't jump. I don't know if they should do a, a, another one, man. Because uh, I don't feel like the original can be beat. I don't think it's, it's one of those original movies. You just leave it alone. You don't. You don't. You don't try to make a sequel. You just leave it alone, man. It's it's a classic, absolute classic.
or a remake, not a sequel. I want a second series. Alan? Fight you! Sorry. <laughs> so come in, the door's open. Just me. Oh. Uh, there's tea in the pot. Oh, good. Don't come. Thank you. <laughs> what have you got for me, Lynn? Well, I've arranged for you to see a show house at 10 o'clock. Good. Got my uh, fungal foot powder. <laughs> Ah, it's life-saving. I'd effectively be disabled if it weren't for these. I also rang all the companies on the product list you gave me. Uh, Foster's Menswear said yes if you get the second series and you wear one garment a week on air. Uh, Monza said no to a free caravan and yes to a tow bar. I'll take it. Uh, dolphin bathrooms? No, they said they didn't do that sort of thing. That's rubbish. I know for a fact Martin Lewis got two power showers out of that. <laughs> one for him and one for his brother-in-law. Uh, right, a dry skin cream. I'm an attack of the old uh, flakes again. This morning my, uh, my pillow looked like a flapjack. <laughs> uh, quick practice for this meeting with Tony Hayes this Friday. Uh, so, you be Tony Hayes. Hello, Tony, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> how are you? Uh, oh, very busy. I've been working like a Japanese prisoner of war. <laughs> <laughs> Very busy. I've been working like a Japanese prisoner of war. <laughs> That's terrible. Why am I laughing? <laughs> All right. Would you would you like a second series of your chat show? I think it'll be a bit tougher than that. Though. <laughs> we might give you a second series. That's about right. <laughs> okay. Uh, small talk. Uh, would you like a Cuban cigar, Tony? Oh, yes, please. Roll on the thighs of a virgin. Uh, you said you might give me a second series. Why is there any doubt? Things have to be compartmentalised, Alan. You know, for example, in this drawer... You... What's in that drawer? <laughs> What's in there? You, um, you have um, things, and um, those, um, sometimes you have too many things. Uh, abandon that, then. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> OK, doomsday scenario. You... Tony Hares have decided not to give me another television series. Mm. Why? Be tough. Well, Alan, the ratings for the first series started poorly and went downhill from there. Jeez! Are you being Lynn or Tony? <laughs> Tony. You could be Lynn again. Can I have a second series? Who am I? Just say yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> they were there when I moved in. <laughs> Swaffham to Cromer on 106.5 This is the radio has What? Babtridge? Living room? Oh, I like this. Yes. Certainly enough room to swing a cat in here, isn't it? Swing a tiger in here. <laughs> you could, couldn't you? Yes. Wouldn't want to, though. <laughs> Unless it had been stunned. <laughs> Even that is going to weigh the best part of a ton. Um, do you like the room? Oh, it's very nice. So, look, look, Lynn's not my wife. She's, she's, my, she's my PA. Hard worker, but uh, there's, there's no affection. <laughs> <laughs> so, you'd be living alone? Huh? Yes, in fact, yeah, the best thing I ever did was getting thrown out by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's living with a fitness instructor. Mm. He, he drinks that uh, yellow stuff in tins. He's an idiot. <laughs> um, is there a neighbourhood? What's well, I'm very close to. <laughs> The neighbourhood watch system. I think so. Yeah. Right, well, I'll do my stint. I'd, uh, I'd want expenses though. <laughs> and otherwise, people start taking liberties. Before you know it, you're mowing their lawn. <laughs> Shall we uh, have a look at the rest of the house? Yep. <laughs> um, one, one more question. I, I, on the way here, quite nearby, I did see a, a community centre with a mural on the side. School for the deaf. Right. That means there will be noise, or there won't be noise. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're just deaf, they're not deaf offenders. They're just deaf. 
Yeah, yeah. Not you, Lynn. Um, stay here. Uh, get on the phone. Pester Debenhams for uh, free lamps, free lampshades, or whatever you can blag them. Uh, <laughs> it's the kitchen, obviously. Oh, lovely. Has this kitchen been distressed? Yeah. <laughs> right. What's this? It's a cast iron egg tree lacquered. Is that included? I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but I would like to know. <laughs> Everything you want to work, keep here, it could be kept or not, actually. Oh, I'm sure we'll replace it. Uh, what's, uh, what's this little sink here? Uh, that's a rinse. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of it. You know what this room says to me? Aqua. Which is French for water. <laughs> it's like being inside an enormous fox's glacier bit. Which, again, to me, is a bonus. Yes, oh. it's an extender. Yeah. Fantastic. That, that, that is, that's the icing on the cake. You know, if, if King Arthur had had uh, an extender on his table... It would have been a different story. Well, it wouldn't have been round. No. <laughs> it's very clued over this house. <clears throat> Colonel Mustard in the ensuite bathroom with a lead pipe. Battered. <laughs> I do like that toilet. Yeah. It's very futuristic, isn't it? Very sort of uh, high-tech space age. Can you imagine, uh, imagine Buck Rogers taking a dump on that <laughs> in the 21st century? Well, if I uh, have a go? Sure, have a go. Have a go alone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, yes. Prefer to go alone. Sure, sure. <laughs> Most of those times, yes. Most of <laughs> Flashed on the first yank. I love this house. <laughs> Alan. One yank, gone. Alan, that was Tony Hare's office on the phone. They put the meeting forward to 12.30 today. Wh when did you get this call? Three minutes ago. So why didn't you tell... What have you been doing for three minutes? You're on the toilet. Well, I, was I on that long? <laughs> See, in that area. We're going to have to zip. Right, OK. Uh, one more question about the house. Um, petrol stations nearby? Shell, about a quarter of a mile. Right. Has it got a mini mart? Mini mart. Uh, scale down supermarket fits inside a petrol station. <laughs> Sells pies, antifreeze. Yep, it's got one of those. Mm. In that case, you've got yourself a deal. I'll take the house. Well, uh, you're going to make an offer? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, how much is it? It's on at 325,000. Uh, you take 324? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bedroom bastard house. <laughs> right, well, then let's uh, go off to the BBC. I'm going to be back on TV in a few. Did you used to watch my TV show? Oh, yes. You like it? I loved it. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> <laughs> that means he ain't watching. He's put past Babbage painted on the car. Don't worry, Len, I'll play it down. And then it says pasture, but then the cock and piss. Take off the two, sir? Yes, but, uh, no, sorry, you. Get in. Uh, you're not gonna stop me. This isn't like... Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely, uh... <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this show. Alan Partridge is definitely funny. But you guys never let me down with the shows. Y'all never let me... And this is why I do the both. Because I trust y'all. Uh, but... Oh, is that, uh... Adapting it now says cook, where it once said cock, and uh, it says it says pass now, where uh, where it once said piss. So it's slightly less rude. There you go. Would you like a drink first? Um, I'll have a pint of bitter. <laughs> Just a mineral water for me, please. Actually, I'll, I'll have a mineral water too. Okay. Will you be having wine with your meal? Not for me. No. Oh, all this wine nonsense. <laughs> You get all these wine people, don't you, you know? Wine this, wine that. Let's have a bit of red, let's have a bit of white. You know, ooh, that's a snazzy bouquet. You know, ooh, this smells of, I don't know, basil. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to say, oh, sod all this wine. Just give me a pint of 
mineral water. <laughs> I don't think wine's the neatest thing anymore. You can get mm. good wine in Tesco's now. I'd love to make a genuinely popular wine program. Can I just shock you? I like wine. <laughs> I just said earlier. <laughs> At any one time, I have nine bottles of wine in my house. Really? Interesting fact. Uh, it's my weakness, I'm afraid. I've got a cellar. So have I. There's no wine in it. It's just... <laughs> bikes, some smokeless fuel, and a uh, whole bag of cement. Got hard. <laughs> Are you ready to order? Um, yes, I think I'll have the fettuccine alla arrabbiata, please. And can I have the same? <laughs> no, but, but, no, with a di different shape of pasta. What do you call this pa pasta in, in, in bows? It's like a bow tie, but, 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 but miniature. It's sort of like an action man bow tie. Farfalle. Yeah, that, Farfalle. that with, with action man bow tie. <laughs> Anything else? Um, yeah, I think I'll have some wine. Actually, yeah. Um, uh, just give me a half a bottle of blue nun, please. <laughs> I loved your uh, article in the Guardian, by the way. Really? Yes. I love that phrase you used. It's very, very clever. Where you said, uh, "Revolution, not evolution." No, it was the opposite. Evolution, not no. revolution. Well, no, whatever. <laughs> Because that, because that is me, you know, because I evolve, but I don't <laughs> revolve. Or oh, vice versa, you know. Well, I suppose Whoa. what you're trying to say is, you don't want another Chris Evans on your hands. No, that is what we want. I'm your man. <laughs> he just literally going to spend his whole conversation contradicting himself to please this man. And I mean... We've all been there, Adam Partridge. We, we, we've all been there. Uh, but just stop saying let, let him talk first. Let him tell you what he wants. And, and then you say it. Talk about, Alan, your career. I can see a lot of very exciting opportunities ahead for you. Really, oh, I can. Okay, can I just say, this is music to my ears. <sighs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Pouring the wine out. I want you to pour a little bit. Let me sip it and then pour the rest. <laughs> well, I've already poured half. Huh? It's, it's all right. Oh, my God. Here's <laughs> <laughs> to our future relationship with the BBC. Yeah, I, I don't think you should see your future just at the BBC, Alan. I just think it's time for you to consider moving on to new pastures. How have I got a second series? There's so many opportunities. Can, no, 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 actually, let, 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 me, let me rephrase that. Um, can I? No, actually, I'll just repeat the question. Have I got a second series? No. Oof. Oh, Tony! Oh, Peter, hello, how are you? Fine, fine. Um, uh, Alan, this is Peter Lennon. He's revamping our current affairs output. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we haven't met, but I liked your chat show. Thank you very much. Has he given you another series? No, he won't give me one. <laughs> <laughs> give him another series, you swine. <laughs> yeah, give me another series, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> give him one more. <laughs> I don't want you to feel that the... I'll see you later, please, yes. I, um, I want you to feel that the doors have all closed here at the BBC. If you come up with anything else, then please, I don't want you to hesitate. Oh, Would you like me to laugh? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, my Lord. If you have any other ideas, I'd, I'd be very interested. Got them here. Got them here. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Shoestring, Taggart, Spender, Bergerac, Morse. What does that say to you about regional detective series? There's too many of them. That's one way of looking at it. Uh, another way of looking at it is people like them. Let's make some more of them. Um, Good point. Detective series based in Norwich called Swallow. <laughs> Swallow is uh, is a detective who tackles vandalism. Bit of a maverick. Not afraid to break the law if he thinks it's necessary. I mean, he's not a criminal, you know, but you know, he, he will perhaps travel at 80 miles an hour on the motorway if, he, for example, he wants to get somewhere quickly. <laughs> but think about it. No one had heard of Oxford before Inspector Morse. <laughs> I mean, this this will put Norwich on the map. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> yep, fair point. <laughs> um, right, Alan Attack. 
Like the cook report, but with a more slapstick approach. <laughs> uh, arm wrestling with Chaz and Dave. <laughs> I don't think so. Pity, because they were, they were very keen on that one. Right, now, you, you, like, you like this, right? Knowing M.E., knowing you. I, Alan Partridge, talk to M.E. Sanders <laughs> about the condition. Um, you know, we, we intersperse it with their favourite pop songs, make it light-hearted, you know, give them a platform. You, 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 you've got to keep the energy up, because you can't... Know, yeah. You don't like it, that's all right. Uh, okay. Inner city sumo. What's that? We take fat people from the inner cities, put them in big nappies, and then uh, get them to throw each other out of a circle that we draw with chalk on the ground. And it's about <laughs> oh my, that's day. terrible. Do it in a pub car park. No. <laughs> if you don't do it, Sky will. <laughs> well, I'll live with that. Is that it? What? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that, that's an absolutely terrible idea. Why? Why on earth would you go with that idea? Cooking in prison. <laughs> Uh, uh, a partridge amongst the pigeons. What's that? Mm. Well, it's just a title. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, opening sequence: me in Trafalgar Square, feeding the pigeons, going, "Oh God!" <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, stop. <laughs> uh, 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 youth hostelling with Chris Eubank. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Alan. Monkey tennis. <laughs> there is to be no second series. And I've listened to your ideas, I've listened to them all, and I haven't liked a single one. Tony, I've, I've, I've just bought a house. So it's like it's got a Buck Rogers toilet. <laughs> one yank, all gone. We don't owe you a living. You are someone who has a proven track record for making mostly bad television programs. Ooh. That, that's, that's, that's bollocks. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not bollocks. Your, your programs were appalling. The ratings were ninth of what we could have expected. They started Ooh, badly, they, they got worse. Badly, yeah, they got worse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your programs, your programs. And they're making a fool of this. <laughs> it's okay, Alan. Really, you think you are. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I am the chief commissioning editor of BBC Television. Oh, let's forget about all this. <laughs> Some cheese? No, thank you. It's quite nice. It's okay, Alan. As a family farmed winery. You just you're just not gonna get the show. And that's okay. Sometimes in life you, you just don't get what you want. It's unfortunate. So what's Alan gonna do now with the with the house that he just agreed to buy for three hundred and twenty four thousand dollars? Is, is the real question. Oof. I feel bad for my guy. Y'all in the comment section too. I didn't see how much uh, seasons this had. So y'all let me know how much seasons this had so I don't miss out uh, on any season. And I know when close when I'm coming towards an end so I can know to, to get the next vote for the next show. Uh, Smells. Do you want to smell it? No, smell the cheese. No, I don't want to. Smell my cheese. Alan, please. Smell my cheese. Smell my cheese. I think that's quite enough, thank you. God dang, Alan. Oh, God, cheese. This is cheese. <laughs> well, City Ralph, haven't you got programs to make? Oh, you know, the BBC gravy train. <laughs> Take this cheese. How did it go? A bit badly. Oh. Smelly. Let's go. Smelly. I wasn't expecting that, Lynn. That was a negative, and right now I need two positives. You know, one, one, two, cancel out the negative, and another one. You know, just so I can have a positive. <laughs> oh my god. to your Baptist church. <laughs> I'm on the down. I don't want salvation. I just want to be able to say, I'm Alan Partridge. Join me tonight where my guest will be, I don't know, Chris Rea. Mm. Actually, he lives in the area. Could have had him over. Right, Chris. Hello, Alan. Didn't know you'd moved in. Yeah, just moved in last week. I'm having a barbecue. Fancy coming over? I'd love to. Do you mind if I bring my guitar? 
rotted and it's not that kind of anything. <laughs> Do you like mini kebabs? I love them, but my wife's vegetarian. Doesn't matter, she can have fish. No, she won't eat that either. Oh, forget it. <laughs> you people. <laughs> Oh, my lord. These people are starting to annoy me. I'll tell you something, you know, they may have very nice Tudorette-style housing, but can they order an Irish coffee at 3 a.m. in the morning and get it delivered to the bedroom? Nope, I can. I'll, I'll drop you in a cab rank. Dang. What you gonna do now, Alan? Um, can I have an Irish coffee to the next room, please? Uh, um, what, tea? Um, can of Fanta? Uh, uh, mini bar. Right, no, I'll get it myself. Jet! brings us on very neatly to my next guest, Mr. Stephen Bry, whose father invented cat's eyes. Stephen, what was it like? Uh, oh my uh, God! Being the son of the man who invented cat's eyes. Well, I, I remember he came home from work one night very excited. Is it, um, and he, uh, I suppose to people, people want to, did they, did they ever turn all the lights off in the house and sort of run towards you with the torch to hope to get, catch the reflection in your eyes? Well, the idea of reflection, of course, is yeah. what Dad was interested yeah. in. The idea of just going to have to just interrupt me there, Stephen. No, it's time now for Alan's fact of the day. Most cornflakes come from the USA. Well, one of those again tomorrow. I remember I, I hit a fox once. Um, yes, in, in the Peak District. Um, that I, I remember seeing the reflection in his eyes before I hit it. It was too late, of course. It was, it was, uh, but I didn't quite kill him. That was the tragedy. I had to go back and uh, finish him off with Jim. This is Huey Lewis and the News. No, it's not. It's Kate Bush. What am I doing? Sorry. It's Huey Lewis. There we go. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I didn't finish him off. I had to go back and finish him with the with the jack. Uh, that was a good episode. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy Demir. Oh.